I am going to talk about the four best SDRs for your PC. If you're interested in software-defined radio and want to explore the world of communication, you'll need a reliable dongle. Robert, St. Cloud, Florida, 46 degrees, expected high of 60, and South Cars number 13928. Did I get that right, Robert? The RTL SDR dongle are small, low-cost device that can be used to receive a wide range of radio signals from AM and FM radio to digital TV and aircraft transponders. They are based on the RTL2832U chipset, originally designed for DVB-T digital TV reception. However, the chip can also be used to receive other types of radio signals with the help of a software-defined radio SDR program. The dongle connects to your computer via USB and uses the computer's processing power to decode the radio signal. I get the, I do the best I can, so uh, I want to thank again everybody for checking in with me. Best of 73 to y'all, and have a good day. SDR programs are available for a variety of operating systems, including Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. However, if you're using Linux, I suggest using Dragon OS. Dragon OS will have most of the Linux SDR software already pre-installed for you. I will start with the RTL SDR Blog version 3. This SDR receiver offers a frequency range from 500 kHz to 1.7 GHz, an excellent sensitivity and selectivity, equipped with built-in HF BIOS. This SDR supports the use of an external antenna with direct sampling mode. The SMA antenna connector allows you to easily connect various antennas for different applications if you want to use this for receiving amateur radio. I suggest getting an outdoor loop antenna. My favorite antenna is the MLA 30 plus loop antenna, which has a built-in preamp to bring in weaker signals. I will put the link in the description for the loop antenna version. The version 3 dongle is compatible with popular SDR software, such as AirSpy HD SDR and other software. This SDR is perfect for exploring, monitoring, and decoding various radio signals like FM VHF, UHF, and even digital modes like ADAB and DVBT. Now number two on my list is the Nualec HF Bundle, the ultimate software-defined radio set for HF, UHF, and VHF experience. The power of the SDR USB dongle, capable of receiving a frequency range of 1,100 kilohertz to 1.7 gigahertz, listening to the next level with the included up converter for HF. This extends the frequency range of the SDR, allowing you to listen to HF signals. With its high-quality components and advanced technology, the NDR Smart HF Bundle provides exceptional performance and joy, crystal clear reception of ham radio shortwave, broadcast FM radio air traffic control, and more. You can easily connect this bundle to your computer or Raspberry Pi. Not only can you listen to a wide range of frequencies, but you can also decode digital signals like ADSB, its affordability makes it an excellent choice for those on a budget who still want exceptional performance. Say goodbye to the limitations of traditional radios and embrace the flexibility of software-defined radio. Number three is the RTL Mini Tuner. This device allows you to listen to and decode various radio signals. All three of these SDRs are similar will, and you can easily connect different types of antennas to optimize your reception. This tuner ensures improved signal sensitivity and accuracy providing a better overall listing experience. Furthermore, the NE SDR Mini is equipped with an ESD safe antenna input, protecting your device from electrostatic discharge. Lastly, the SDR version 4. This SDR has several improvements over other brands, including the use of the R828D tuner, built-in HF up converter circuit, improved filtering and improved component tolerances. It can tune from 500 kilohertz to 1.7 GHz and has up to 3.2 MHz of instantaneous bandwidth, 2.4 MHz stable. One of the great benefits of this receiver, allowing you to explore a wide range of radio frequencies. You can monitor aircraft and also decode digital signals, such as FM radio, digital audio broadcasting, and more. The first benefit of a great SDR is its wide frequency range, allowing you to tune into various signals. Having a high sampling rate is another advantage, as it provides more accurate data during your SDR experiments. Another benefit to consider is the dongle's signal-to-noise ratio, which affects the quality of the received signal. Moreover, an SDR with a high dynamic range 
allows you to capture both strong and weak signals simultaneously. An SDR dongle with solid software support ensures compatibility with different operating systems and software applications. Additionally, an adjustable gain allows you to fine-tune the signal strength and minimize distortion. Lastly, if you want to get a good reception, I suggest getting a loop antenna for outside use, like the MLA30 loop antenna, which will boost your reception with the built-in preamp. The link will be in the description for the loop antenna, along with the SDRs. For further reviewing, thanks for watching.